fucking little green guy. It's, honestly, he's fucking adorable. He is. He's and you adorable. feed him candy. <laughs> But it's real. It gets complex because they got like the candy goes into bubbles. You got to pop it above them, like all sorts of different random shit. But the thing is, honestly, kind of like how you were like, you know, going expanded. Yeah. Like, there's a part two. Then they had like expanded. Like he's got little cartoons and shit. What like, is it called again? It's called cut the rope. It's literally that simple. You yeah. cut ropes and like it's just it's and, and it's you use them to like yeah. Like you can you, you and shit. sling shit. You, you use magnets, like all sorts of crazy shit. Like, no, what the hell? Yeah, it's and it's so simple, you know. So cut the rope, best, best current, you know. <laughs> cut the rope, uh, classic. Uh, and actually, you said it, Lolo. Uh, if y'all know about Lolo, the Adventures of Lolo Man. on Nintendo, like it was a you know old just time waster, man, because you'd get stuck like forever. And then the thing is, like you had lives. That was the worst part. Like, you, you mess up the room, you start over, you lose a life. And then you had to, like, start over, like, so many stages back. So, yeah, that's a good classic. And uh, overrated, I actually agree with Serge. And Swiss, uh, Candy Crush. Everybody hates that. Oh, and the thing is, just like Serge said, like, it, it was, it was bejeweled. It's fucking bejeweled. Yeah. And Zookeeper, and, you know, like, this, the concept of that game is, you know, just done with different colors and shapes. Exactly. And, uh, so, yeah, the shout f- out to Candy Crush, you mind-controlling bastards. The f- bro, didn't they do game. something about that on South Park or something like that? I'm pretty sure they Probably. did. Because, you know, be South Park, just like the Simpsons, they did, Pokemon. They did it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, Pokemon Go. Yeah, oh, well, they, that, they, that, that should be a... That, really that, that, you know what? You know what? No, we should, we should do... The next, next time we do a gamer's guy, we should do games that are just... Games that just take away your life. <laughs> Any honorable mentions? Honorable mention. Honorable mention. I don't know games. the name of it, but there's this game where it's just a square, and it's got it's sectioned off into a bunch of different places, and all you got to do is move or slide them to get the ball out. I don't know the name of the game. Yeah, just just this. I don't know what it is, but I know it's fucking awesome. I'm gonna throw in this game called Spelunker World. It's basically a little guy that runs around and he has to get keys to open up the doors to move on to the next part of the map. It's all mines and stuff. Oh, it's kind of yeah. neat. I got another honorable mention. Go ahead. <laughs> just, just Solomon's Key oh, for Nintendo. Oh, key. Another Nintendo. <laughs> that game was nice. dope. Yeah. Yo, that was Nint- a classic. <laughs> Boy, Nintendo was just a... Uh... Just puzzle, little, puzzle puzzle masters. Yeah, for well, real. Yeah, because they were the easiest probably yeah, it's program. It's like the easiest thing to program <laughs> and make. Yo, we can make like eighty of these, right? For the cost of like ten, they gonna eat this shit up. For real, <laughs> we just gonna keep selling it to one household. <laughs> uh, honorable mention for me, and I'm honestly just being a jackass with this, but crossword puzzles. Just in general, cross- <laughs> crossword puzzles. In Seriously. general, just, in just general. In general. You know, oh, well, you might as well say well, well if that's the case, then. Like, Sudoku, you know, right? <laughs> exactly. I got Sudoku. That's my shit. <laughs> it's my shit. If y'all you know might as well play... say Wheel of Fortune, then if you're in that, man, if y'all know oh, how to play, that is a good Yo, puzzle character. Hey, here's the thing: when I learned how to play Sudoku, yeah. I felt like my I felt like I went like eight times smarter. Yeah, I was like, holy crap! I know how to play Sudoku. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another one. Was it the brain games? Oh yeah, the oh, brain yeah. age on the brain, brain age on uh, Nintendo DS. Yeah, those were fun actually. Yeah, was. So what's on the book next? I'm going to run some commercials what's and the then docket? we're going to come back and uh, probably do-, do some Wahlberg, Bale, and Keanu. Oh, all right. And then maybe a few other things. We'll run some commercials and we'll see what happens from there. Nice. Be right back. It's Blood Session. Baby. Yeah. You got a hankering for me? Is it impossible for you to go 24 hours in a day without thinking about pork chops, chicken breasts, and thighs? So look no further. You'll discover Buck Naked. naked. Meow. It's your one-stop chop shop for any animal, land, sea, or air. I'm talking penguin, dolphin, koala, panda, or bear. We got a whole lot of specials on our menu. That means a whole lot of meat to put in you. Bring your hunger down to Buck Naked's Meat House or call us and we deliver. 813-720-1527. It's the Meat House. Next week on Officer Zion. No! Stop! Knock it off! I don't even have my seatbelt on! Are you crazy? You're not gonna put the car in park? What? Slow down! You know we we gotta do this by the book! I'm really starting to think you're crazy! This is the worst!
worst first day of work ever! <sighs> you just went in that door and don't do anything crazy! So we meet again, Officer Zion. No! The most anticipated comedy drama action reality game show makes its triumphant return to televisions all over the face of planet Earth. Have dinner ready, put your kids to bed, and tune in this Wednesday at 10 p.m. on the Flohio Television Network. Be prepared for Officer Zion. Talk to you about piece of peace. What the fuck, Mika? I know the king of keys of pizza. You like to have a piece of pizza? I say you should come down. Have a piece of pizza. You think you're going to dance all like keys of pizza, pizza? Boss says that you like the cheese on your pizza. I like good cheese of pizza, pizza. I agree, that's a delicious piece of pizza. So you come down, you have a slice of pizza, pizza? Mozzarella, le mojala, pizza, pizza, pizza. Come to pizza, pizza. Don't get no better than this. Gorgonzola, pizza, pizza, pizza. Come to pizza, pizza. Or call 813 720 1527. We got the big pit bulls and the small pit bulls. We got the short pit bulls and the tall pit bulls. We got red nose and blue nose. We got the brown nose and green nose. Any pit bull you're looking for, we got them down here at the Pit Bull Emporium. Come on, meet us here at the southwest corner of Northeast Southwest Street. Go ahead and give us a call at 813-720-1527. It's Pit Bull Emporium. Pit Bull Emporium. Thank everybody again for coming out to Motivational Words, brought to you by Flow Ohio Radio and Blunt Sessions. Our next speaker is actually a surprise guest. Needs no introduction. All the way from Miami, Florida, it's Mr. Tony Montana. <laughs> A few minutes. I want to say a few things. In order to be a success in this life, you gotta have three things. You gotta have dreams, you gotta have goals, and you gotta have balls. The dreams, or what I call the tiger, is what you want to achieve in life. The goals are the steps you need to take to get your tiger. And the balls, we all know what the balls are. And trust me, I can tell you from experience that if you got dreams and you got goals, and most importantly, if you have balls, there's going to be people who don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you get the money. They don't want to see you get the power. They want to sit there, point their finger, and say, that's the bad guy. They try to take your good sister to the toilet to do jail off her chest. They may even try to handcuff you and hang you in a bathtub and try to cut you up with a chainsaw. But that's where your support system come in handy. You always have a team of people watching your back. A team of people who believe in your dream and help you achieve your goals to get your tiger. Because they know if you are a success, they are a success. Okay? I gotta go. But before I leave, just remember this. Have your dreams, set your goals, and use your balls. No matter what happens in your life, do anything you can to get your tiger. Okay, so take it easy. Thank you guys for coming. To say goodbye to the bad guy, and hello to my little friend. You are now tuned in to Blunt Sessions Blunt Sessions on Flohio Radio. And this one goes out.
to all the players and pairs. Basic bitch, you ain't no damn star. Oh, 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 oh. I'm about to raise my boys. Now punch that clock and get that car. You ain't got no choice. And all my hopes stay in line. They know. I broke my foot all in her ass. Oh, 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 your head and get my bread. Don't make me, me tell you try. Oh. You better be on your way. I don't play. Such a flashy beam. Oh, who do you think you are? See, baby, at the end of the day, there are two types of people there's the winners and the losers, there's the talkers and the doers. We know without you, there's no me, and without me, there is no you. For me, you always gonna be down. For you, I will always be around. We're gonna keep this train on these tracks and keep the lanes at our backs. Let's go get this money, baby. Drive no call if you got no keys. Here we come to the brains. 